hello everyone and welcome back to the bike and mike show this video starts a new section of the show called bike and builds in bike and builds i would be doing some simple inexpensive projects using just common tools found in every household today we will build this handy bike stand if you find this video informative don't forget to like share and subscribe i hope you enjoy This is the Bike and Mike Show. Today we are going to build a bike stand. First you're going to need a half stick of 2 inch Schedule 40 PVC pipe. We're going to need 3 2 inch Schedule 40 PVC tees, 4 2 inch Schedule 40 PVC couplings. We're going to need a can of cement, a hacksaw, a tape measure, something to mark the pipe with, some emery cloth, a file, a C-clamp, a straight edge, and for the optional rugged submarine look we are going to need some gray primer. Now let's make some cuts. We are going to need six 5 inch long pieces of the 2 inch Schedule 40 PVC. Remember to measure twice and cut once, that's how we roll in these parts. We're going to grab our hacksaw or our cutting tool of choice and we are going to cut the pipe. Repeat five more times. So now all we need is one more piece that we are going to cut 7 inches for the vertical piece that holds the crank. And I don't know if you can tell by the video, but it is starting to get dark out, so let's move our operation to the inside. So I'm going to take my 7 inch piece and we're going to C-clamp it to the edge of the bench as shown. So now we need our straight edge and we're going to put the letters up and so we can kind of get the line parallel with the length of the pipe and we're going to scribe a line. So next we're going to grab our tape measure and we are going to make a parallel line one inch over. Now when I say one inch it doesn't have to be exactly one inch. We're building a bicycle stand not a Swiss watch. I guess what I'm trying to say is to just get it in the ballpark right around one inch. That's all. Get it clamped down nice and good and then grab your hacksaw and just cut along the lines that you just made. And you're going to save the piece that you cut out. We'll be needing it in a little while. So now take your file and dress up the edges a little bit on the slot as this is where the pedals will be sliding in. Clean the corners off a little bit and if you plan on primering this or painting it you don't have to get too fussy. So now let's lay our pieces out, get our cement, apply it to both surfaces and we are going to build two ends 
that are going to be identical. So just take two of your five inch pieces and plug them into the long ends of the T and then apply your caps or couplings. I used to make these out of caps and I found that the couplings are more versatile as you will be able to connect more than one stand together. Repeat the process for side number two as shown. Now we're going to take our remaining pieces and just apply the cement. Plug your two 5 inch pieces in as shown. So now we're going to lay our pieces out for final assembly. So take the middle piece Give it a good dry fit just to make sure everything lines up. Apply your solvent to all mating surfaces. And let's put it together. We're going to slide both pieces in. Make sure that your middle part is plumb. It doesn't have to be exact, but get it kind of close. Make sure all your feet are touching the ground. And now we're putting our vertical piece in. As you can see, it's a little bit on the loose side. So now this is where we take the piece that we cut out of the slot. We're gonna fold it in half. And we're gonna make a wedge with it. Stick that wedge into the slot and that should make your fitting snug. If it doesn't, you can jam a small piece of wood inside that wedge. We're going to take our cement, apply a coating to both surfaces. Insert it, hold it in place for a couple seconds, and now you're going to wait about 15 minutes for that to dry. After drying is complete, we're going to take our emery cloth and we're going to dress it up a little bit on the outside, just enough to break the glossy finish off so that the primer will stick. I'm going to lay a piece of cardboard down so I don't get primer all over my nice workbench. And we're going to give it a quick coat of primer for that submarine look. And there you have it, the finished product. Didn't come out too bad. So now let's try putting a bike on it. And it works like a charm. So this bike stand can be made for well under 20 bucks and should provide years of trouble free service. Remember if you find this video helpful, please remember to hit the subscribe button and share this with your friends. Post any suggestions or questions in the comments below. And thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video.